Today I'm doing a face and body painting tutorial for Hal Jordan, also known as the Green Lantern. This superhero from the DC comic book series has been around since 1940 under alias Alan Scott, but the series has seen many revivals since then. For a list of products used in this tutorial, check out the video description below. Start by shaving off any body hair that might interfere with the painting. Using a large flat brush, apply green to the entire torso with broad strokes. Aim for even coverage, adding layers for a more opaque finish. I'm using Water Activated Makeup by Maron. Create a crisp edge for the costume you're painting on. I stopped at the middle of the neck because the Green Lantern only has a mask covering his eyes. Now add the Green Lantern logo by painting a white circle in the center of your chest. Always use the comic book image for reference. Next, sketch the outside edge of the costume where green meets black. It should be a curved line from the hip up to the shoulder. Use white so it can easily be covered and do the same on the opposite side. Begin applying green along the edge with a flat brush. Start filling in large areas of negative space as well. Once you are satisfied with both sides, fill in the white chest circle. Paint the Green Lantern logo within the circle, then paint around the circle in green to define its edge. Add the second series of costume edges along each shoulder. Then fill in all the negative space with green. Next add muscle details in black to the abdomen, chest, and shoulders. I recommend following one very good reference of the comic book drawing. You can also sketch the muscles out in white so it's easier to fix. Add a white highlight at the top of each ab and blend down into the green. This punches up the contrast and makes the muscles stand out. Time to pump you up! Now paint on the eye mask. The mask runs diagonally to a point at the tip of the nose. It also has two edges that come to a point near the temple. Fill in the mask with green and add any details you'd like. Finally, apply fair foundation to the face with a makeup sponge. Add some black lines along the contour of your chin, nose, and lips. Your look is complete. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, or request a look you would like to see.